Hi, I'm Cameron Chaucey, and you're watching Mediaplex Live at One. Cassandra Malinowski visited the Canadian Blood Services Clinic and tells us how we can help save lives by donating blood. It's in you to give, that's our slogan, okay? We can't manufacture blood. We need, we rely on volunteer donors to come in and donate blood to help save a life. You know, especially, you know, during holiday or long weekends, patients don't get a holiday from receiving treatment. Um, so we, we do rely on students to come in and give an hour of their time. You know, it's an hour every 56 days. So it's really not a huge time commitment, but you're actual lifesavers. William Bergoglio, a University of Windsor student, was one of the many donators. I donated blood today because uh, it's a good feeling knowing that you can help somebody else. And it's almost no cost to me. It's just a little bit of your time, and then you save a life. Our Grand Maris Clinic, our Windsor Blood Donor Clinic, we are open five days a week from Tuesday to Saturday. So if you ever want to find out when a blood donor clinic is or book an appointment, uh, you can go on blood.ca or we have this awesome new app called the Give Blood app where you download it, you register, and you can book your appointment. You can manage your, your appointments if you need to change it. Um, and it'll tell you all about your blood type as well. It's an awesome app. Um, if you're not great with appointments and keeping an appointment, we accept walk-ins at all our clinics. For Mediaplex News, I'm Cassandra Malinowski. A community health fair was recently held at the Waterworld Gymnasium. Abbas Wali reports. The community university partnership among several different organizations and the community have come together to help Windsorites for a better understanding of their health. Nursing student at the University of Windsor, Sarah Clark, says the program works with the university and the community. This is to involve the community and make residents aware of the programs Windsor has to offer and to provide them with funding and health information. Us as nurses, we work with social work students um, to try and just make the community a little bit better and help out those who are less fortunate than us and um, who live in subsidized housing. Senior project manager Cheryl Taggart says besides the health fair, the community university partnerships main goals are to bring communities together and to be safer, happier and healthier with and their neighborhoods. These kind of getting together as a community and as a group is really important because it allows people to come together as community when they see their neighbors and they recognize that we all have the same kind of questions, we all have the same kind of concerns, we all need the same sort of help and support and when we work together there's a real collective impact on the outcomes of it. The Waterworld Gymnasium in downtown Windsor hosts the health fair put on by the community university partnership to educate public for a better lifestyle. This has been a Valley for Mediaplex News Now. Reporter Sean Frame talks to Ward 3 Councillor Reno Borderland about improvements to the downtown core. On March 21st, Ward 3 Councillor Reno Bordelin was voted chair of the Downtown Windsor Planning Study. This study is being conducted to boost residency and business operations. I, mean, I can't say it enough. I mean, I, I live just outside of downtown. I had a business just outside of downtown. Um, if you live in this area, the choice and the possibility of living a great urban lifestyle is right here. Bordelin says downtown incentives already make it relatively cheap to develop downtown, but he hopes other incentives will attract developers and residents. The study is underway, but if you want to have your opinion on downtown's future, you can fill out a survey at this website. Looking at the weather, it looks like it will be dry for a couple of days at least. Today will be mainly sunny with a high of 7. Overnight, the temperature will drop to zero, but don't worry, tomorrow we will see plenty of sun with a high of 14. Ever wonder what we do here at the Mediaplex? Well, join us as we're hosting an open house this Saturday from 10 till 1. You can come tour the downtown campus, meet the staff, and learn all about our media programs. We'll even supply the coffee. Bring a friend, and we hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. I'm Cameron Trossi, and this has been Mediaplex Live at One.